I had hoped to be all done this by now, but I was without my truck for a while, so I need to get this done. I'm planning to go to the hay auction tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day that's supposed to be relatively nice. After that, every day that I could go, it looks like it's going to be in the 90s. And I don't really want to be stacking hay in the 90s, so I got the other board that I need. I've got them cut. I'm getting ready to screw them together. And once that's done, uh, I was going to get the OSB. The OSB is now like $18 a sheet. I got this stuff instead, which was... Well, you can't see it, but I'll have to show it later. Almost the same price as the OSB. It's a better quality board and should last better. Let me see if I can... Plus, I figured it'll probably be easier to paint. So, I got those instead. I got four of them. I'm going to see if that'll do it. If not, then I'll have to go get another one. Okay, it wasn't easy, but I was able to get them in place and screwed together. Eventually, I'm going to get some strapping so I can screw the uprights to that as well and make sure that I have enough room over here to get the mower through so that I can keep this area moving without having to weed whack it. Now I'm going to find the middle of this board and see if I can't get the uh, two boards in the back positioned and I'll trace around it so I know how to cut it. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to cut but if I go slow hopefully it'll be easy enough. So much for the hope that these things were going to be easier to work with with the OSB. These suckers are heavy and I can't quite get them up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I had this one kind of sort of leaning in place and it's breezy out. It blew down and this one I'm sure is going to blow down as well. It doesn't quite meet up against the frame. I think I'm going to have to do the front and then see if I can't get the back to where it's more square as I can even see it here it's all leaning away from where it's supposed to be it's less down here than it is up here so I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about that well I was able to get the front on it's not quite the way it should be since it's not any wood extra over there but there is a few inches on this side but it'll do and I should be able to get the two pieces on the front here to make the doors. And I did take these two pieces down. They're there. I'm not going to try to get these up tonight. It's not supposed to rain, so I'm going to leave these here for now. Tomorrow, I'm going to see if I can't find a tarp or two to bring and put all the wood out of the hay shelter over here for now. And... Then as soon as I get the time, see if I can't get this finished up. It would be help if I had some help, but I'm not paying anybody and nobody's offering. So if anybody out there wants to come and help me, you're more than welcome. One reason that I'm making this shower is so that I have a place to put all my scrap wood. You see, I got quite a bit of it. That will all be getting sorted through. And I came up with the idea of putting a two by four here. The only problem is what to put on the other side because another two by four was too wide. Well, here's a scrap board that I have and it's almost the same width as the board at the bottom there. So it was almost long enough. I had to get another smaller scrap piece and I should now be able to do this end. Uh, I'm not going to be working on it today. It's late. I had to move all of this out of the hay stall because I went to the hay auction today and I was able to get 47 bales. And I have six and a half left over from last year, so I get another 50 bales and I've got the horses covered. Well, I'm back to work on all my hay shotter and I was able to get a board up. And I have extra there, so i got to cut that. But I do believe that with the extra that I have, I will be able... I've got this much have a gap to fill in the gap and not need to buy another piece of wood. And I've also figured out why I'm having so much problem getting this up. Number one, the ground is not overly level here. So that makes it difficult. Number two, this frame is not in the greatest of condition. Uh, 
It's nothing attached there. Hi, Callie. You get over here. It's not attached over here. These are all bits and pieces that I just put together the best I could. I have another one of these at home that the frame is completely up. It's what I use to store hay for the goats. And that frame is in really good condition. I had been thinking of leaving it when I'm finally able to move. And I got to thinking about it. I had been wondering how to make a frame for a greenhouse. That thing will be perfect. So that'll go with me. So I'm getting ready to take this board down. I took a pencil and best I could to a line along the outside. And I'm going to be cutting this and then I can put it up. I've got the other one here to put up, get the back all done. Don't know if I'll have time to get the front on. I might have to do some straightening up here. I don't know. And then I can get it all straightened up inside. I need a bit more tarp to cover the where it doesn't reach. I have that at home and this will be done. Well, I'm back to work on all my equipment shot. Our only problem is this fell down. I don't know what happened. We haven't really had any wind and I had something up against it. So for whatever reason it fell and it broke at least one of my five gallon watering or water cans that I keep out here. Don't know about the other one yet because it's still on top of it. And so I'm going to have to pick that up. I'm going to have to unscrew this. I've got a long 2x4 that I'm going to be putting up at the top. For now I'm going to be taking down the tarp so it's not in my way. And get this, see if I can't get this all put together today. Somebody told me that they'd come and help me. And they've never shown up so it looks like I'm going to be doing it by myself. Well, I was able to get this board back the way it belongs got the tarp off. The problem is up front, it's like I just don't have it square and this is really a two-person job. Unfortunately, I'm just one person and while well, Callie wants to help, she's just isn't that good a helper for this. So when you need two people and you're only one person, Bailey Twine is your friend. I've got that tied up. I'm going to try to get this straightened out. I don't know if I'm going to have to make this doorway a little bit lower or not because it looks like it might be interfering there. But once I get that done and have that all straightened up, I'll be putting the board up there and then running the long 2x4 from one end to the other. And once I have that done, I can get started on the, the ends. Well, it's done. Best that I can get it, get it. So now my next thing to do is to get the frame straightened out the best I can and make sure everything works well, right. Get the board up and then that one over there. So we'll see how it goes. It looks like it might be okay the way it is. I just don't quite have the frame where it needs to be. Okay, when I try to get the frame right, it hits over on this side this side it doesn't. I'm to the point now where I'm thinking my best bet might be to just take this back down in spite of all the frustration I had to get it up. And the upright doesn't hit the frame. So if I cut this top board a little bit and go on the inside of it, it would be a lot easier, a lot less frustrating, and I should be able to get that done with no problem. And it's in place. It just fits on this side. This side's got a little bit of room to spare. So frame came apart up there. I hope you can see the board is straight up. I'm going to put that back together so that I can get the board in. And as soon as I get the 2x4 in from side to side, I should be able to finish this, I hope. I got that board up and couldn't quite figure out how to get the center board up and finally came up with an idea. 
Uh, I cut that board a little bit shorter than I planned to for a reason. I cut it and then cut it again. I am going to be putting the long one up on top of that one and the one down on that end. I've got it tied with the bailing twine on this end. I'm going to move the ladder down and put the board up on top of the wood down there and screw it down and then I'll be able to come up and screw it to the one up here. And if it sticks out a little on the one end, that's not a problem. So I might actually be able to do this. Well, it's up. The main problem I had is this board apparently is warped. I could not get it squared up. But the other end is, and I'm not going to worry about it. It's not like it has to be exact. So. I'm going to let it go like that, and I'm going to start working on getting the ends up. What I'm going to do eventually, I can't do it right now because I don't have what I need, is I will drill some holes and put cable ties around the frame. I just hope the whole thing doesn't fall apart once I get it done. But at least if nothing else, I'm learning how to do the next one.